What's up, y'all? So today we're gonna make some smoked queso. Uh, in this smoked queso, we are gonna be using pepper jack, Colby jack, hot rotel, half a can with the juices, as well as queso blanca Velveeta. Uh, another thing we'll be end up using is our mild sauces that we made in our last video. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. If not, it'll be up in the index card. Uh, but we'll end up using two cups of that as well as everything gets nice and melted. Uh, we'll pour that in, stir it up, and that would just really finish it off and give us uh, the heat that we would like and just so much more flavor. But we'll go ahead and get into cutting this and I'll show you kind of how I prep everything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab our pepper jack here. I use a whole pound of pepper jack, uh, a whole pound of Colby jack, as well as a whole thing of Velveeta. So I just like to make it into, you know, pretty small cubes. It makes it a lot easier to go ahead and get everything melted up rather than having this huge block of cheese. Uh, it's a lot like when you have a huge brisket, 14, 16 pound brisket, and how long that takes compared to say fajitas. So you just get all this cut up into long strips first. And I just like to stack them up like this, about three, four at a time, and just cut straight down into nice cubes. Take this, we'll grab our pan here. And it's just for an aesthetics reason, I like to kind of put everything in its own little corner and whatnot. You'll see what I mean here shortly. Once we get everything in there, we'll get a nice shot of it. Set that back out of the way. Put this over there as well. Now we'll go ahead and move on to our Colby Jack. A whole pound of that as well. All right, we'll get this into some cubes. I want you to get that put into our pan as well. And finally, our last cheese in the queso would be good old Velveeta. And I know I said queso blanco. Apparently I bought the wrong stuff. So this is the good regular Velveeta. I prefer the queso blanco personally, um, but this works just as well. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Just cut them into nice little chunks and we'll get them all nice and cubed up as well. All right, got all of our cheese in the pan. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab a can opener, which I forgot to grab. I'm gonna grab that real quick and we'll get this open.
So I like to go ahead and open it just a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and pour the juices. You can do it on top of the cheese, next to the cheese. This just give it a little bit of moisture because you know when you are just melting cheese, how thick it is. So this gives it a little bit. The final amount of moisture we'll end up having is from our two cups of salsa. And if you like your queso a little bit thinner, then we can always add in a cup or two of milk to reach that desired uh, consistency. So we've got the juices in there. We're gonna go ahead and do half a can of Rotel. I'm not somebody that really is big into veggies. In fact, I, I pretty much hate them. My wife and my daughter love them. So I try to do as much, as least as possible. So that right there is a whole can. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these tomatoes out. All right, beautiful. Set the rest to the side there. Wife can use it for something else. And our final ingredient here is gonna be spicy sausage. This is gonna give it some additional heat, give it some more texture rather than just being straight cheese. You have some cheese in there, you're gonna have some meat in there. Uh, it's gonna go great on a chip. I'm gonna grab that sausage. And so what we personally use here is the Owens hot sausage. And we'll go ahead and use this uh, entire chunk right here. Of course, that one's frozen, but we do have right here in our pan all cooked up and browned. And we're gonna pour that into this little side. Then right there, we have everything prepped up. So let's go ahead and get the uh, smoker set up and up to temperature. And uh, we'll be back to take this out and put it on the grill. Uh, and we're gonna let that go for two hours. We'll be back. All right, we got the queso prepped, ready to go. We got the grill up to temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and get it put in. We're gonna let this go ahead and ride for about two hours. We'll come out every 20 to 30 minutes to give it a nice stir. Once we hit that one hour mark, that's most likely when we'll end up putting our two cups of salsa that we made in our last video. Uh, but we'll be back with it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check the queso. It's been about 30 to 40 minutes uh, this time around. Um, but let's go ahead and check it and see where we're at. Oh yeah, that's actually looking absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead and stir this around. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab us two cups of the salsa that we used in our last video. We're also gonna dump that in here and get it nice and stirred. Oh yeah, that's nice and melty looking beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go and grab uh, two cups of that salsa and we'll get this put in here. All right, we got two cups of that salsa. I like to just pour it on in. And this gives it some wonderful flavor and gives it just a little bit of a bite. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and put that salsa in before everything's melted. The only reason I don't is because it will actually evap evaporate due to the heat. 
and just kind of wick off. And then you're just left with the tomato and stuff. So you still get the wonderful flavor, but you just won't get the moisture and the consistency that you want to get with your salsa. But all right, we're going to let this go ahead and go for about another hour. Uh, we'll come back in about 20 to 30 minutes, check on it, give it a good stir. Uh, at that point, we might want to start working on in some milk if it's not in the desired uh, consistency that you would like. So right now, I can already tell it is still a little thick for what me and my family like. So we will end up coming out here with about a cup of milk. All right, we'll be back with you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check the queso again. Uh, so at this point, we know it's getting pretty close to being done. It's been almost two hours. Uh, we've probably got about 15 more minutes to go. Uh, it is still a little thicker than I like, because uh, as it's hot, it, lo it looks pretty thin, but as it cools down, it gets really thick really quickly. So we'll go ahead and get a quick look at this. We're gonna end up putting about a cup of milk. I got two cups here. I'm gonna start off with one cup to see uh, what that ends up being. But as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty loose. But once this actually cools down, it's gonna be super, super, super thick. So I like to try to give me a little pocket in the middle. It doesn't really work all that well. Try to make sure the spoon don't fall in there. And we're gonna pour about a half of this milk in here because we got two cups. That's about half. And of course the milk is cold, so it might shock the cheese a little bit, and it might be a little hard to get it to stir in, but just nice, quick, small motions really help. Because you don't want to sloss all the milk you just stuck in there in, out. So you see how it thickened up a whole bunch because that milk is really cold? I'll stir this in as good as possible. We'll close this lid for about five minutes, and then we'll be able to check on it. But once you reach the consistency you want, it'll be time to come off. So we'll see you in, in the kitchen uh, after we get this to the perfect consistency. And we'll do a quick taste test with the girls. All right, guys, we got that smoked queso all done. It's ready to ta be tasted. Uh, I got the girls with me, uh, my daughter and her friend yet again. So let's go ahead and dig in and try it out, girls, and tell me what y'all think. Satisfying, it's just like sinks in. Oh, yeah, all nice and cheesy and gooey. Mm -hmm. That's yummy. I think I ate too much that time, but mm. it's absolutely delicious. Mm. Yummy. We girls approve. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, uh, that's it for smoked queso. Anyways, if y'all, I messed that up. <clears throat> now we're just gonna do I'm gonna have to do a cut so chill for a second all right well that's it for the smoke queso I appreciate y'all uh, coming to hang out and watch uh, if you wouldn't mind go ahead and comment like and subscribe I see y'all later peace